This is the highlight of Lucy Santiago and Lillian Soto's day, praying in front of their parish, St. Michael's in Flushing. They usually leave happy. Today, that wasn't the case. In the early morning hours Tuesday, a man hopped this short fence in front of the church and pushed over this statue of St. Bernadette, breaking her arm. They have no business trying to destroy the statue because they're the ones who support us, you know, the saints in heaven. That's camera, that's the one. The vandal was caught on camera. The police were called to investigate and tape was put up. A process Father Vincentius Doe shuddered to think he'd ever be involved in. We never thought about this thing when we built these churches, you know, uh, everything was in the open. But now we have to protect ourselves. St. Michael's joins a long list of churches and schools across the Diocese of Brooklyn that have been vandalized this year. At this spot, St. Bernadette is kneeling in front of the Blessed Mother. Surrounding them, a white flag for every parishioner lost to COVID-19. St. Bernadette is the patron saint of those who are ridiculed for their faith. But the parish doesn't think this is an attack, but a problem that goes much deeper within the Flushing community. I tend to think that these people are suffering from some kind of mental issues. That's why I ask my parishioners to pray for them and hopefully they get some help because I think they do need help. Now St. Michael's is left to literally pick up the pieces. Oh, you see, you see, you see she's Father Doe right. hopes his parishioners will chip in to fix the statue. But he says the paint costs more than the repairs. In Flushing, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.